Hey, everybody. Happy New Year. Uh, welcome to Parent Conversations. Today, we have our Executive Director, Shirley Griffiths, going to share some information with us. Uh, we're going to talk about the one word, but we're also going to talk about our Discovery Family Adventure program for 2022. Um, we want to give a shout out to the Bear River Health Department, the Central Utah Public Health Department, and the Davis County Health Department for making it possible. Um, if you have any comments, feel free to raise your hand, type in the chat. I will be moderating. I'll read your questions if you're too shy to let your voice be heard. And just let's let's get started, Shirley. You can take it away. Okay, very good. So today I just wanted to share a really simple concept that I learned about probably about it's maybe been. 15, 20 years ago. I'm not even sure. I guess I could look at when this book was released. Um, but it is the one word concept. And basically, it's by um, John Gordon and Dan Britton and Jimmy Page. I don't know the other two, but I know John Gordon very well. I've read a lot of his books, love, love his books. Um, it's a very short, as you can see, it's a short, simple read. Um, but the concept of this is that instead of writing out a, a bunch of New Year's resolutions, I know that's kind of the, the concept that we've all grown up with is to have New Year's resolutions. And we make this list, of, I mean, January 1st, a new beginning, um, and, which is great. And I, and I love that. We do need to have the, the new beginnings and we need to you know, make, those, make those goals and whatnot. Um, but I know for me, a lot of times I'll, you know, make all of these commitments, what I'm going to do throughout the year. And, you know, it's not very far into the year that, that they start um, not happening. <laughs> and the concept of this, of the one word um, has really worked well for me because it keeps me focused on that one thing that the, um, they say to choose that one word you're going to focus on for that year. And then everything that you do during that year, you try to fit, does it, does it, you know, does it fit with that one word? Is this something, for example, one that I, that I remember, I see, you know, I still remember it very well. Um, you know, one year, my word was trust. Um, and it was a time when I just needed to, you know, to trust that, you know, that things were going to work out and to, to, you know, put, put my faith in, um, you know, in letting, <laughs> in letting the process, um, the process happen and whatnot. So, I mean, there's, there's so many, I love reading through the book. It shares a lot of stories of, you know, different people's words and kind of why they, why they chose those words. Um, but anyway, so that is a, you know, that's kind of our, our focus here on this is, is choose a word to over to, to kind of guide what you do this year. I want to just show you, you know, one graphic from it. Um, it talks about how you, first of all, you know, prepare your heart and look in to find that word. You know, be very selective as you as you think about, you know, your life and and where you're at and what you want this next year to be focused on. Um, and then discover, you know, discover your word as you look in. And then it says living your word. So anyway, I found it really interesting last night as I was scheduling. Um, our, our new Mindful Monday post. So I'm excited to introduce that, but I thought it was really funny that if you, if you have seen that this morning, you may have noticed. So that, that post actually mentioned the one word. Um, so anyway, so we thought that that was, that, that was pretty fun that our, that Dr. Dwyer, who is going to be doing our Mindful Monday posts, um, is also on the same page with utilizing um, the one word concept for, for New Year's goals and, and resolutions and whatnot. So we are excited to introduce the Mindful Monday. Um, if you remember from our Santa stories, um, Dr. Kim Dwyer wrote the book, Rocky's Christmas Journey, um, which talked about, you know, that little owl that, um, you know, woke up one day in, you know, basically in, um, New York City, gone from, from his, her, you know, little habitat um, in upstate New York and ended up in the big city and, you know, and the resilience that it would take the, and that this, this little owl. Um, but anyway, so, 
So Dr. Dwyer is going to be doing, she has also written a book um, on Mindful Mondays. And throughout this next year, every Monday, she will be sharing a post just to give us that little quick reminder um, on being mindful. Um, and, um, you know, and I think for me, being mindful goes along with being intentional and, and whatnot. So, so anyway, a very good fit with what we do. So we are excited to, um, to introduce our Mindful Mondays. And then we also just wanted to do a quick review. So as Megan and I have talked about, you know, this next year and what, what is kind of our one word for, um, you know, for the Discovery Family Coalition and the, and the adventures, um, we looked a lot at the, um, at the survey and the, the feedback that came back and the, re the results of that. Um, and the word that we have chosen is focus. We really want to, to make this um, a program that, that you can understand. That was some of the feedback we have. We have a lot of different platforms and there's a reason for having the different platforms because there are you know, different families. Not all families are on Facebook. Um, you know, there, as we've mentioned, there are four different things. We have communication um, apps and then we also have the, you know, for playing. And it's the same thing, you know, as I've said before, just like you're, you're never going to combine your stove, refrigerator, and dishwasher into one appliance. Um, you know, we, we are not going to be able to combine, you know, we can't combine Facebook, the Discovery app, and, and the Goose Chase app into one um, unit. But just as you have, you also don't have the stove in the kitchen, the refrigerator in the bathroom, and the dishwasher in the living room, okay? They're all together in that same place. And that's what we're going to really focus on, bringing everything together in, in, a, in a focused way um, that makes it a little easier to understand. So we have made some pretty exciting changes to the program that we're excited about. Um, and I want to show you that today. Megan, have you had a chance to, can you share your screen with us? Are you ready for that? I, I am. And oh. I'm just going to tell you that once we start this, this version of this mirroring app only gives us 10 minutes. Oh, good to know. So, so yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and screen share. And... Okay, so while she's bringing that up, let me, let me mention... So one of the one of the biggest um, the, the feedback that we got is that you know with having the two different platforms for playing the adventures, which we totally get. Okay, at the same time, we have families who love the website, and we have families who love the Goose Chase app. Um, and the reason for that is because they each have pros and cons, and there are families that love the pros of one. Um, and, uh, but we, they also have, for example, goose chase. Um, and again, we, we have a, you know, we did a parent conversations where, um, you know, you could really, where we went over the differences and the pros and cons and whatnot. Um, but there are some limitations. So we're going to go ahead and take a look for 2022. We are focusing on the, the goose chase app or what we call the discovery hunt app. So Megan, if you would go ahead and, and open that up. Okay, I've unmuted myself. Everybody gets to see my, my uh, sorry, <laughs> my app choices. Okay, so we're gonna go into Goose Chase. And okay, and let's to... open up into the Discovery Family Adventures. Let's make sure I've joined that. I spent all weekend on the back end of it. Maybe I haven't joined it yet. Oh, right. actually I did, I did try and join it and um, it wasn't available yet, so I'm going to go find it. Okay, but so, keep in mind, and this is for everyone, keep in mind, you can join before it goes live. And that just means it's going to notify you. It will pop up and say, you know, it's not live. We'll notify you when it is. But yeah, absolutely, you can join those in advance, okay? However, um, the other thing to, to know is that this year we're... Th the focus, this hunt is going to be the focus of what we do. The seasonal hunts, we're not going to have, um, we're not going to have a separate seasonal hunt. Okay, now we will have some mini hunts, okay, that are, you know, that are connected to some of the missions and whatnot. Um, but this really is the 
this is the hunt that we will focus on all year long. This is where, where you will find the adventures and where you will record your points and, um, and track your points. So you'll notice these top two, they say do not complete. Okay, these are adventures that you're going to want to have um, on on your phone at all times. Okay, the first one is our discovery family adventure tips. Okay, go ahead and open that if you would, Megan. So that one, this is where we will, if there are updates to the to the um the app, we will let you know. One of the things that we wanted to be sure that that everyone knows is that you can search the missions because there will end up being a lot of missions um, in this hunt. Okay, but you can search that. Okay, if it snows outside. You know, type in, in fact, Megan, go ahead and go back if you would. Um, and and just search for snow. Okay, so if it snows outside and you're looking, there you go. All of the adventures that, that you can do in the snow pop up. Okay, and so you've got those. Um, or, you know, if there's something else, if you're wanting to, to maybe focus on mindset, you can type in mindset and the mindset adventures are going to, going to pop up. Okay, so absolutely use the search feature. Okay, but you also buy, you know, I mean, at times you can just scroll through and find one, you know, find one that you love. Um, the other thing that, that we wanted to mention now, I can't remember what it was. Megan, will you jump back into tips so that I can see what the other thing is on there. Oh, yes, we absolutely want everyone to know we can communicate with you via the Goose Chase app. You cannot communicate back with us. So if ever, if you have feedback, if you need help with something, you know, we've got the email in there that you can contact someone at hunts at mydiscoverydestination.com. Um, and again, if things change throughout the year, if there are updates to the app or, you know, we have a question, you know, somebody asks a question that we're like, you know what, that's, that's something everyone should know. We'll go ahead and put it into this mission. So that's a mission that you're going to want to, to keep on there. Megan, go ahead and move back. Um, the next one are the symbols. So if you want to go ahead and click into that, Megan, and this just shows you um, one of the real limitations of the Goose Chase app is we only have 2,000 characters and they go very, very quickly. So we have, we're, we've used um, these cute icons to kind of let you, let you know, it'll be pretty easy for you to see, is this a, you know, a full-blown di um, Discovery Family adventure? You know, if it is, it's going to have the, um, the little backpack discovery. It looks different on your phone. That's interesting, Megan. Okay. Um, but you'll see if you can scroll down, Megan, you can kind of see through there. I have an Android, so it's different. That could be. Okay. But so you can see, you know, here's where the goal is. The basic adventure has the family there. The tip section has the light bulb. Um, and then, you know, community engagement has the, the little homes. So we've just used these little icons to make it a little easier for you. And of course, you want to get your points. If you look at that little, you know, the hundred at the end, that tells you how you get your points for this adventure. Okay, so go ahead and, and go back, Megan. We then have, there are 10 introduction um, missions. Now, they're not going to necessarily take you that long. Um, I actually did it, it was about 45 minutes, but then I added some other things in. So it may take you, um, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. There also are, um, there are some clips in there that if you have not seen them, now those of you that are, um, you have been at parent conversations, you probably saw these are actually clips from a parent conversations. Um, and so you may have seen them, uh, but it actually wouldn't hurt for you to, to watch again. You know what? These are these are the kinds of things I love to listen to these while I do dishes, you know, do your hair, fold the laundry. I mean, don't hesitate to to multitask. Um, but we really do need for you to go through these intro missions so that you they, if you go through the intro missions, it will answer every question, comment, um, confusion that showed up in the research. OK, so. Um, so anyway, we've got those and then we get to the adventures. Okay, so there we go. Um, ready, set, go. You're going to start by um, 
setting family goals with your family. Um, again, we have our basic adventures in there that we want you to do not once, but pretty much every day. Eight for eight hugs every day. Family dinner time as often as possible. Um, and at least four to five times a week. You know, 20 minutes a day you're reading and just served. Um, you know, serving should be a, a natural part of life. Okay, so we've got those in there, the chit chat and the board games. But let's get down to, so let's, we've got a couple that are specifically, go ahead and go back, Megan, if you could scroll up. Okay, we've got a couple that are just for January. So January happens to be mentoring month. So we have one for mentoring. And vision boards is such a great way um, to, for those of you that are familiar with vision boards. So go ahead and go in. Well, you know what? I actually want to use the online safe photos to show you how we have that's one that, that, yeah, you guys should be familiar with. But you can see here how, so we always have the goal. You know, the goal is to help kids learn um, the photography skills while also helping them learn about internet safety and whatnot. The adventure itself is to take a series of internet safe photos, okay? And so you've got the different steps, um, but you'll notice that first step is go to the link below. Because again, the limitations on Goose Chase, we have 2,000 characters. And we can only use one link and one graphic. Okay, well, if you remember, if you have looked at this graphic before, uh, Megan, go ahead and go to the link. Okay, this will take you to the website. Okay, and then if you scroll down through the website, Megan, um, you will see that this particular adventure, go quickly. You, yeah, this is still the top part. Okay, this has a lot of photos, okay? Now you can slow down on this section. But so again, and the Goose Chase is limited to one photo. So that's one of the reasons why we can't stick with just Goose Chase because we'd never be able to get the information that you need. Other, some of the adventures, you know, include multiple links. Um, this one happens to be multiple, you know, photos that give you examples of the different ways to take internet safe photos. Now, keep in mind, we want you to use these. If you want to show your smiling faces, we love to see your smiling faces. But if you're uncomfortable with that, we totally get that. And you are absolutely welcome to use these other, you know, showing the appendages or pictures from the back. Um, you do not have to show your faces to get your points. Okay, but we would like for you to, to, you know, do an online safe photo, you know, rather than just like take a picture of the ceiling, which we've seen some of those come through. Um, and with the Discovery Family Adventures, especially since we're giving out, I mean, you're basically earning points for the family reward events. If we see, um, you know, if, if we see submissions that are just, you know, the picture of the ceiling, we might actually delete, you know, delete those. We've never really done that in the past, but on this one, we may. Um, Megan, are we? 10 minutes goes fast, I'll reconnect. Oh, gotcha, you have to reconnect on that. Okay, very good. So I'll just keep talking while you, while you do the reconnect. Um, so anyway, please feel free to use the, you know, the online safe photos if that's, if that's something that you feel comfortable with. Now, um, so you can see how it sends you to the website for the detail if needed. If, we, if it took more than the 2000 characters or there's more than one link or there's more than one picture, it is going to send you to the website, okay? Um, and, and a lot of, especially the full Discovery Family Adventures are going to send you to the website. But then what you're going to want to do is come back to the Discovery Hunt app or the Goose Chase app to record your points because this is where we will be um, tracking the points for the family reward events. I do want to show you a couple of different um, types of adventures. So we definitely have our full on Discovery Family Adventures that um, that have all of the components of, you know, the, the tip section, the teaching important parenting strategies, um, and, and just really that's, there are our full adventures. We will also have some seasonal adventures here. Okay, so if you go down, Megan, if you could just kind of scroll down 
through here. Okay, you'll see here the ice sculptures, okay? It's got the little snowman and the nature ice wreath, the little snowman. These are more the seasonal adventures. Now, if you go into one of those, Megan, we have still added in there the, um, the teaching of the tips, teaching important parenting tips, because again, that's a really important part of the program. This is designed to kind of remind us as parents, um, as I often say, we teach parents what they don't know and mostly just remind them what they do know, because most parents know, you know, a lot of the stuff that's here, the things that they need to do, but we get so busy parenting, we forget. And so that tip section is really important to just kind of remind yourselves that of the things that you that you need to be doing. Okay, so even the, the shorter adventures will have a tip section, um, but these will be these will be shorter, probably shorter, easier. Um, they're, you know, they're more seasonal. Okay, and so you're going to notice they're not worth as many points. Okay, although ice sculptures is actually 800 points, um, <laughs> which is almost so a full on discovery family adventure is is worth a thousand points. And basically you're going to need 5,000 points to qualify for the um, discovery or the discovery family reward event. Okay. So, um, so for January, you're going to need 10 in January, right? Well, yes. Okay. And that's because the introduction. So again, those introduction, the introductory uh, missions, you need to do those to qualify and they will, by completing those, you will get your first 5,000. So yes, in January, you will need to have you'll 10,000 points to qualify as a family because basically you're introductory and then you will do basically five adventures with your family. Um, or you can choose to do like there's healthy snowman snacks, okay, just kind of a fun, simple, something you probably would do anyway, having a snack with the kids. But this gives you kind of a fun seasonal, um, seasonal way to spend time with the kids. Again, kind of that the tips are in there to remind you, um, you know, those different things that will help build resilience into this activity. Okay, and that one's going to be worth 400 points. Now also keep in mind, every adventure has the community engagement idea. And you guys, I'd love to have you utilize the community engagement. That is something if you want, if you want to help your children be successful in life, the community engagement is really important. And that is an area where our communities are struggling. Okay, this is something that is measured by the SHARP survey because it is one of the important um, protective factors. And, um, but with especially the world that we live in and having gone through COVID and whatnot, our kids are not feeling as connected to their community. So with every adventure, you're going to find a community connection that's something that helps them, um, helps them connect to another person or connect to their neighborhood, in some way connect uh, with the community to help them. Um, you also will find here with each one, there are the ideas for adapting for young children and for you know adapting for teens. Now, sometimes the adventure, it's not hard. I mean, you guys can figure out kind of on your own how to adapt for little ones and will, you know, like if they're an art project, okay? There are, you know, you choose an art project that's that's appropriate for a young child, or you choose an art project that's appropriate for a teenager. Um, we may put some simple ideas in there, um, but again, keep in mind the um, these are designed to be flexible. You can adapt them to fit your family, your family size, age, interest. Okay, they're designed to be adjusted to fit you. We've put in some some suggestions to help kind of get, you know, get you thinking about it, um, but they are designed to be adjusted. So go ahead and adapt them to your family however you need to. Um, but we would encourage you to utilize that, the community engagement ideas as well. Now, again, the um, one of the drawbacks on the, on the Goose Chase app, you can only complete the mission once and you get that set number of points. If you want to get extra points for doing the community engagement level, on the website, you actually can complete the adventures multiple times and you can, you get, 
a different number of points for each of the levels. So again, that's one of the benefits of the website. However, what we found and from the data, the website wasn't being used as much. Um, and so here's what I would like for you to do. If you would prefer to use the website, I'd like to hear from you. I would love to have you email hunts at mydiscoverydestination.com so that we can have a, you know, a conversation and, and see you know, how it is that you have used the website, um, what's going to be different um, if we don't, you know, if we're not using the website for tracking. Um, and, and if there's a need, you know, if we find that there's enough interest and a need to, to somehow incorporate a way for the website to be used, then we may consider that. But at this point, and from what the data that came back, it appears that um, even though the website has some tracking advantages, it really wasn't being used. So, so that's kind of where we're at. So for right now, we are, all of the tracking will be done on the Goose Chase app. You will only be able to complete the missions one time and you will get the points one time, okay? But again, for the sake of your children, I would encourage you to definitely do, you know, utilize the community engagement. A lot of times it's very simple, okay? A lot of times it's like, you know, it's like the, the snack. I don't remember what the, what we had put in there, but with that doing a snowman snack, then it's just, you know, making extra and taking it over to a neighbor. Again, a five minute, you know, five minute trip to walk across the street and hand it to a, an elderly neighbor and, and say, you know, here you go, just thinking about you, hope you're doing well, but so important for our kids, an important way to help them feel connected to their neighborhood and to help them develop that, that community connection. So I hope that you will utilize um, those community engagement suggestions. Um, you can see here as Megan continues to go through, we have lots and lots of um, lots of, of adventures. I just realized, so you're not actually going to be able to see because she's actually in the thing. We do have another kind of adventure that's going to, actually two that you're going to want to watch for. There are, there's a national day for, well, let's, let's just say every day is national something day. Okay. And some of them are really fun and, you know, really fun things for parents to do. So we will be releasing, um, several times a month. Okay. You can go ahead and get, click out of that, Megan. <laughs> it's driving me crazy now. <laughs> Just so, stop watching. I was going to the symbols to pull up <laughs> the national days. So yeah, it's not in there. It's in the back end. And I haven't released any, but so for example, right. on tomorrow is um, national trivia day and it is also Utah's birthday. Okay. So we will be releasing two missions tomorrow. Um, that you can, they'll, they will only be available for 24 hours, okay? Those are adventures, they'll be very simple, you know, there will be some trivia there that you can, you know, that you can share, um, and, you know, you can share how you're celebrating, you know, Nash, or Utah's birthday, or, or whatever, um, so. Can I stop screen sharing? Yes, please. So every once in a while, there will be, well, let's put it this way. Every day, there will be either a national something day mission released, or there may be what we're calling a, a daily challenge, okay? And the daily challenges are those that you've gotten used to in, really, they're the seasonal, um, what shows up a lot in the seasonal hunts, the really fun games, okay, that are, you know, maybe... Um, geared towards the season or the holiday, but, you know, but a lot of the fun, like in it to win it games or um, just simple, simple things in January, we've got, we've got a lot that are just simple, fun things to do as a family um, that kind of challenging, you know, like there's one I know that says that's a snowman um, target type of thing. You build, you build the snowman and then you're, you know, then you're throwing the whether it's a ball or a bean bag or whatever it is that you have around the house. Um, so these are things that are going to help your kids 
they're de developing small motor skills, large motor skills, thinking skills. I mean, depending on what the activity is, it's helping them to de um, develop skills as well as increasing that bonding. Okay. Everything you do, our goal is for you to laugh and smile and have fun as a family, even if it's just, you know, five minutes. I mean, I remember one of them's, you know, flipping cups kind of thing. You know what, that you might spend five minutes doing that, but everybody's going to laugh and have fun. And, um, and that's really the goal there. So pretty much every day there will be, in addition to the regular missions, you're going to see some, um, some national days missions and some daily challenges. Now, obviously those are going to be worth much fewer points. I think the daily challenges are worth a hundred points. So you can do 10 of the daily challenges in, in, step, in place of one you know, discovery family adventure. Now, of course, you could also complete them as many times or you can you know, complete as many missions as you want in a month. You, know, you may end up with you know, 15,000 points in January. Um, you can earn a free family reward event up to one per month. And we're going to be doing those differently this year uh, because one of the things we found is that last year uh, we, you know, we scheduled them. They were on a specific day and time. Um, usually there were a few that were not, but that doesn't always work for families. So the way we will be doing it this year, we are um, in the process right now of securing our family reward event partners. Um, and then you will, when you reach those those levels. So when, if you reach, you know, the 10,000 points, or I should just say when you reach the 10,000 points, whether it's, you know, in by January 31st or in February, when you reach that level, you will qualify for a family reward event. And then you will basically let us know. We have a form where you will designate what you want for your, um, for your reward for that month. And then you will have 30 days to redeem that reward. So um, we're gonna try that and see what we really want this to work for our families. So we're gonna try that and see, you know, see how, what works, what works best um, for everyone. Hey, Shirley. Uh, yes. Uh, will I interrupt your train of thought if I um, interject a couple of- uh, No, uh, go for it. Okay, we, uh, um, Nikki, Nicole, sorry. Um, made a good suggestion about grand about about grandparent adventure yes so yes. i think we should submit that to our writing team <laughs> yes absolutely and keep in mind so that is a great suggestion nikki and we definitely you know and for sure like on national grandparents day there will actually definitely be a mission and whatnot um, but it would be fun that, well, and there actually are several, actually, that kind of even now that focus on grandparents, but also keep in mind, these are great for grandparents to do with grandkids, okay, so any of the adventures, um, this is basically, again, designed for all families, and any family can utilize these adventures and, and just adjust them to however, you know, whatever works for their situation. We're not, we don't all live in the traditional, you know, family. We are in maybe a different age group or a different setup. You know, I was a single mom for years. Um, so yeah, absolutely. We want to, we want to adjust, be able to adjust that. Um, I know one of our favorites around here, whenever the grandkids come over is the snowball fight. You know, we talked about that just this morning <laughs> with Nikki. I mean, my, my, but it's not outside. Let me tell you at, at this grandma's house, <laughs> that does not happen outside. That's in the living room with cotton balls, snowball, you know, so I mean, I've got the, the, they've got big ones and little ones, all different sizes. <laughs> um, so, um, so yeah, that, that is a great, that is a great suggestion. And, and Nikki, if, Nicole, if you have specific ideas, I'd love to hear more about that too. I know we have things like the Cyber Seniors Program is definitely geared towards um, grandparents on the reading. So the read 20 minutes a day. I know that there are one of these the suggestions because a lot of times they'll have, you know, we give several suggestions for how to implement that. And one of them is definitely reading with grandparents, um, you know, utilizing, um, either like radio.com or, you know, programs that are available for that. So anyway, great suggestion. 
Was there anything else you um, had to uh, Emily had made a comment earlier when we were talking about one word. If you want to, when you're ready to go, if we're ready to go back to that and wrap things up, I'll read it. Um, yeah, let's finish up here. Did anyone have, what questions do you have about kind of this, the new, this new program? Thoughts, questions, comments? I would like to clarify, Shirley. I know <laughs> last year we had a great time visiting some, um, family reward events from different areas. For example, we went to the baby animal days and that was really fun. That's something we might not have done otherwise. Will we still have that opportunity to kind of jump and visit other areas if yes. we want it? Great question, Emily. And the, and the answer to that is yes. In fact, this is gonna be kind of fun. We will have, as we secure those family reward um, you know, adventure partners, you will be able to choose from wherever. So yeah, absolutely. American West Heritage Center, you know, in Cache Valley. And the other thing is you're going to want to kind of plan it for, you know, specific, um, you know, specific times. For example, you know, American West Heritage Center is a good one to plan for the spring <laughs> because they do their baby animal days. And of course, people can do, you know, general, they are open year round um, and their, you know, and their adventure. And I, and I should clarify we have not we have not finalized with them yet so i should clarify that in case for whatever reason they're not on the list um but but you know as long as they that's finalized or whatever they'll be able to kind of designate okay this one you know this one will work for it this one won't um and i would imagine that baby animal days will be you know will be on that list so you might want to kind of plan that for september okay august is going to be you're probably going to want to kind of plan for that month to be a free swim night or I guess really the qualification period is in July um, but we have like L Logan Aquatic Center last year um, actually did give give families the whole month of August you know they said they can come any you know any time during the month and we have other aquatic centers across the state that we're working with that will probably focus on and they may limit that to just August I know for Logan Aquatic Center that was the month that worked best for them um, but yes, you will be able to, to really look through the list and say, hey, this is, you know, this is the one that I want. And yeah, it's not in my area, but I'm willing to travel. Um, you know, and as long as you're you know, willing to travel and you know, willing to, to do. The other thing that I should mention is that they will be located for the most part. Well, I guess that's not, we can have, they may be in other areas, but do remember that our, our funding areas will have more um because that that's just the way with our with our funding um you know a lot of these family rewards I mean I know that came back on the in the data you know some people are saying well you know the family reward events are just you know too far away it'd be nice to have some close by we understand that at the same time I mean we you know we either need to there need to be funding partners um in you know in the area so if they're and Shirley, if if you're watching this or watching the replay and you are in one of those areas that doesn't have any funding and you have connections, make those connections and then make those connections with us. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Because that's and that's why I kind of hesitate when I started to say that, because I realized that we actually can with this new with the way the new way we have set it up. We really can have Discovery Family, or yeah, the, the Family Reward event partners anywhere um, because we basically, we give them, you know, significant, significant value in, in exchange for doing that. So it's not the funding, um, the, the funding isn't as required as in the grant areas. Yeah, but Catherine asked, where are the funding areas? And they are the grant districts that we yeah, Maybe great. The beginning. Great, great question, question, Catherine. So, Bear River Health um, District covers Rich County, Cache County, and Box Elder County, and then we also have Davis. Um, we have a, a smaller grant from Davis County Health Department, um, and so that covers again that they will be held mostly in the North Davis area. But others, you know, people can select those if they if they choose to. And then we also have a grant. Uh, um, a, smaller grant from the Central Utah Public Health Department. So that's out in the Richfield area and six counties kind of around there. So um, we don't have a grant in the Salt Lake City area. 
However, we've got some great partners in that area. So I'm sure we will also have, um, we will definitely have some grant, or, or I'm sorry, some, some family reward partners in that area. I'm sure that Get Air, they have been great to work with and um, several, several others. But again, if you know of, you know, if you have connections, if you're in an area where we don't have the, the grant funding, but you have a connection to a, to a business that would like, you know, they would like the exposure because it's a lot of exposure for a business. If you know of someone, then we'd love to have them be a family reward event. And then yes, our families will be able to choose from the list wherever, wherever they want to go. Great question, Emily. Other questions? Okay. Well, that is, you guys, I am excited. We're going to, we're going to give this a try. We are, our goal is to provide the very best program we possibly can to help strengthen families. Um, and, and we do that by providing you with all kinds of free family events, opportunities to be together as a family, to spend time together as a family. And so we're going to focus this year. Remember our one word is focus. We will be focused on, on really zeroing in on what is, what is going to help our families um, to, to, to strengthen the families, to, to have the resources that they need. Um, and, you know, and to be able to sustain this program, because we really want to be able to continue to provide these fun opportunities for you. Um, and so that is, that is our, our word for as a, as a program, as an organization and a coalition, our one word this year is focus. So let's go back to the one word then. Okay, I'm going to read what Emily shared. She said, um, I usually do a very specific goals list. My husband opted into doing the one word last year and it really worked well for him. He tends to start a lot of projects and lose excitement in unfinished projects. So he chose the year of honing. Honing means to refine something. For him, it was a skill over a period of time. This made his time a lot more intentional in 2021 and he focused on developing skills he had already introduced. That's awesome. Yes, thank you for sharing that, Emily. And that really is, that's what I found with me. And I'm still very much a goal setter. I love to, you know, set my goal. But having that one word for me, even when, you know, even by the time you've, okay, you, you know, been exercise every day. Okay, that's been one for how many decades? Okay. So, you know, even, I mean, then when you, when you missed a week, okay, you get sick and you miss a week or you've missed a month, <laughs> you know, then it's like, okay, well, I blew it. I'm done. But when you have that one word, that one word never ends. Okay. And you have days, you have the good days and you have the bad days, but that one word still is there. And it's not like you've, okay, I've, you know, like there will be days, okay, when, when maybe Megan and I aren't very good at getting focused, okay, <laughs> we're going to try really hard, and we're going to, we're going to focus, but there may be days when all of a sudden we look back, and we go, wow, we spent, you know, we spent a lot of time on these things that did not lead to, you know, to, to being focused on what we need to be focused on, but it's, it's a little different feel when it's the, the one word approach is a different feel than the goal, where you go, okay, well, I blew that goal, so never mind. Um, you just, you, you know, jump back on and you go, okay, so, you know, I, I focused in this area, <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe I was focused here and now tomorrow we're going to, you know, we're going to be even more focused on, you know, on making sure. So yeah, that's, it's really, really good, especially for people. And, and I, I'm the kind of person that your husband is. I tend to start a lot of projects. <laughs> And that's part of why we're going to focus. <laughs> so very good. You guys, thank you so much for being here. Um, as we head into, you know, 2022, we've got some exciting, exciting things. In fact, oh, well, Megan, go ahead and tell us about next week. Oh, uh, one of I'm the exciting things we have going. So glad you uh, asked me to do that. And if, if you hadn't, I was going to do it anyway. Um, so next week for Parent Conversations, we have a member of the Utah Legislature. Um, Dan Johnson is going to be with us, and he's going to be talking about how parents can follow bills um, 
and some of the legislation that he's put out there and the, oh, I forgot one component that he talked about, uh, following the bills and was it connecting? With yeah, how you can, can follow the bills and stay connected to the bills, reach out to your legislators when you have, if you have an opinion about a bill, which we all should have opinions about the bills that impact, well, they all impact us, but you know, find the bills that really matter to you and then reach out to your legislators. And he's going to talk about how you can, how you can let your voice be heard. And then he also has some really important legislation that he is going to be, uh, that he's working on, that he has ready for the session. And he's going to give us a little bit of insight on those. Um, and then I will just go ahead and, and let you know as well, we are um, we actually have the solution for some of that legislation. Um, and so that's been really fun as we have, you know, worked, had an opportunity to work with Dan. Um, he's actually been a good friend of mine for decades. He was the principal when I was the PTA president for probably about eight years. Um, <laughs> and he's just a, an incredible man. But anyway, as he was talking about the legislation that he's working on, Megan and I were in the background, we were in the same meeting and we're like, oh my gosh, that's, we have the solution um, as is the case so many times. But anyway, so we've had some discussions with him and, um, and yeah, it's exciting to, to be, to be the solution for some of the um, issues that the legislators are looking at. So, yeah. and it's been brought to light recently um, that, well, with COVID, especially uh, parents are getting, because they have to basically homeschool their own kids using the public school system, uh, there's been some questioning parents. Why, why is this being taught in the classroom? And uh, they're seeing that the, how, how teachers' hands are tied and they have to follow um, what the state puts out. And this, if, if you have any concerns at all about what your children are learning in school, this is definitely some place you want to be next Monday. He will answer questions. And of course, we'll do a replay. But if you want your question answered, you might want to be here. So yeah. Yep, absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you, everyone for being here. And well, actually, I guess, Megan, you're the one that brings oh, it to Yes, me. I'm moderator today. <laughs> Fairly will be moderating next week. I, I will be here, but I will be visiting grandbabies. So I will be a little bit preoccupied and um, in a different time zone. So uh, anyway, yes, thanks for coming. Uh, be sure to spread the word about next week's and watch for the replay. It'll be posted within, oh, it'll probably be posted by this evening. So uh, yeah, um, look forward to seeing you next week and enjoy the first week of the new year. Bye everybody.